All right, guys, so today we're going to be reacting to the boys' choir of the M.I. Glinka Choir School, St. Petersburg. This video has 10 million views. 10 million. So I'm wondering, there's an Orthodox church. Uh, Glinka, great composer, especially when it comes down to Russian culture and history. So we're going to react to it. I'm looking forward to see what's going on here. Make sure you like the subscribe also for your donations. Link in the description down below. Let's just jump in. Wow, what a voice. What a voice.
beautiful chord. Such a nice yeah, little kid, man. Okay. Great voice. Beautiful, beautiful church as well. Oh man, this is more. I'm sorry, Munkar Orthodox Church, I think. But this is beautiful. Wow, Glinka. For those of you who don't know, Glinka, Russian composer who was born in 1804 in Novo Novospasko, Russia, and he died in, in Germany in 1857. Very young guy, almost uh, what? I would say like 53 years old. Um, uh, yeah, great contribution for, um, Russian folk music back then during the 19th century. A lot of music was just being played, but it was not written. So he was one of the composers that, you know, dedicated his life to just contribute to Russian folk uh, music. Written that is right. My God, man, what what a beautiful song! <sighs> wow. I don't know what to say, man. It's beautiful. Um, just a little bit of background of him. Um, um. While in Berlin, Glinka became enam enamored of a beautiful and talented singer. For whom he composed six studies for contralto, he con contrived a plan to return to her. But when his sister's German maid turned up without the necessary paperwork to cross to the border with him, he abandoned his plan as well as his love and turned north for St. Petersburg. There he reunited with his mom and made the acquaintance of Maria Petrovna Ainova. After a brief courtship, they married, but the marriage was short lived as Maria was tactless 
and uninterested in his music. Wow. His initial fondness for her was said that to have inspired the trio in the first act of his opera, A Life for the Stars. Well, his naturally sweet disposition coursed under his wife's and mother's in law's constant criticism. When the marriage ended, she remarried and Glicka moved in with his mother, a letter with his sister. Ah, oh, man. That was not a good ending. Yeah, he was one of the one of the five, right? I think what uh, we have uh, Mursorsky, Nikolai Risi Korsakov, Mili Balakriev, Alexander Borden, and Cesar Cui as well, right? Great composers that contribute to to Russian music and and the beginning of mo Russian folk songs. Folk song as uh, we know it today, right? They managed to take their time, write their things down, and just give that characteristic of Russian, right? Big sound. Wow. Beautiful. Well, let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. I really want to hear you guys from Russia. What do you guys think? I think when it comes down, when we sing for God, it's, it's so angelical, right? So I want to hear what you guys have to say. In the meantime, I will see you in the next one.